Hey everyone, Sumo Spiffy here. After a wild as hell day 15, the March 2024 Basho is over. Takeru Fuji is your champion. There was some high drama over the last few days, including what some of us thought might have been an Achilles injury because of how Takeru fell off of the dohyo against Asano Yama. Turned out it looks like it was just a sprained ankle. He should be long term okay, but all of that is a conversation for another time. But right now, we are figuring out a first draft for the May Bonzuke, so let's get into it. Math first. Alright, as usual, let's start at the top. Terunofuji remains the Yokozuna until he decides not to anymore. Is that day coming soon? Probably, but nobody seems to want to take the mantle from him, so who knows how long he's going to feel compelled to stick around. The Ozeki, as usual, because nobody dropped, Takakesho managed to save himself with his 8th win, they're going to go in order of victories. Hoshoryu with his 11, then Kotonowaka with his 10, Takakesho with his 8, Hiroshima with his very weird 5. Kotonowaka looked like he should have been able to keep pace with Hoshoryu at the minimum, but really weird losses to the two super injured Ozeki kind of cratered that. That also is a conversation for another day, but man, what the hell was that? That's all I'm going to say for now. We move on. Wakamoto Haru, winning record as a Sekiwake, so he's going to move over from 1 West to 1 East, much like Daisho did last time. Daisho drops out, so we need a new Sekiwake. Abi finished 9 and 6. He's the obvious choice. He's going to move up from Komusubi to Sekiwake. Very good. Asanayama, because Ono Sato lost, there's really no choice but Asanayama for uh, Komusubi 1 East. So he's going to bump up from Maegashira 1 West. And then we have some questions. Ono Sato is almost certainly going to be the next Komusubi. Uh, at 11 and 4, and with nobody else quite keeping up, Atami Fuji would have been the next pick if he had won on the last day. But since he didn't, Onosato really seems like he's going to be the guy. So we'll clear this out and move him up and make that official. Next, Atami Fuji is really the only decent choice for Maegashira 1 East. He was 2 East, he got an 8 7 record. We bump him up, he's the clear pick for that slot. They could theoretically put Daesho there and bump him back, but that doesn't seem real likely. What is quite possible is that they're going to put Daesho at Maegashira 1 West. We've got this log jam here, so what are we going to do with all of those guys? This seems very much like a situation, if you think about what happened with Wakamoto Haru when he was 6-9 at Sekiwake, they dropped him to 1 East. I actually thought they were going to go to 1 West, but they gave him some priority over the Maegashira guys. This seems like a, a perfect opportunity for them to do something similar. So let's move Daesho here. And then where do we put Hiroda Umi, Gonoyama, and Takayasu? In what order do they go? Well, this gets back to, do you prefer the guys who were in the joy, or do you prefer the guys who had the most wins? But it's a little more complicated in this case. Hiroda Umi, Gonoyama, Takayasu, what were their Sanyaku opponents like? Hiroda Umi fought Takakesho, Kirishima, and Daesho. That's it. It's not a question of the fact that he fought guys who weren't doing very well, but he only fought three of them because he was at the edge of the joy. Gonoyama ended up with Daisho and Hoshoryu, and Takiyasu ended up with Abi. You could actually put these guys in any order. I wouldn't be shocked if they shuffle things up on the basis of how they did versus the Sanyaku opponents that they had. Uh, we're going to bump Tobizaru to three west because we need to make room for three of these guys. I'm going to guess that Takiyasu ends up at the back of the line. As goofy as this looks, Gonoyama, then Hiroda Umi, then Takiyasu is actually pretty plausible. But this is a crapshoot. You can use any kind of logic, put them in whatever order you want, and there's a chance you're going to be right. So all we can do is say those three guys should end up in those three slots. I do think Daesho is going to get bumped to one west, and the order is going to be what the order is going to be. Ura and Oho. One of them's going to get a little over demoted. So which one is it going to be? 
As much as I hate to say it, given the way that they've done things recently, I think it might be Aura. I don't think it matters that Oho beat them in their head-to-head, -head, but they've, again, shown some preference for the better records. Both of them were in the joy, both of them had a full Sanyaku run. The only difference in that respect is that Oho didn't have to fight Abi because that fight would have happened later in the Basho, and they were their paths were so disparate, Oho was doing pretty poorly and Abi was doing really well, that they weren't going to be matched up. But these guys fit very clearly at Magashira 4 in some order. Pick the order that you want, there's going to be a logic for that either way as well. Onosho obviously fits at Magashira 5 East and Meisei at Magashira 5 West, we don't really need to mess with those. Midori Fuji and Takeru Fuji are tied mathematically, they land in the same slot. Now, under most circumstances, under nearly all circumstances, I would assume Takeru Fuji is going to get bumped back. That way they don't over demote Midori Fuji and Takeru Fuji is still getting a humongous promotion, which he deserves based on what he did. At this point in time, given how Banzukes have been going for the last year or so, it's totally possible that they could put Takeru Fuji in front and Midori Fuji over demoted to Maegashira 6 West. They could. It doesn't make a lot of sense. I am still going to put slightly better than 50-50 odds that they leave Midori at Maegashira 6, because it is 10 and a half ranks, and it also serves the purpose of putting him in a position like where they put Onosato. He's just outside the joy, he's not going to get a bunch of Sanyaku guys until he earns it, but they, sh they certainly should have an expectation that he will earn it, that he will do well again against these mid rank guys. So putting him at 6 West does fit what they're probably going to want to see from him, but hey, maybe they bump him up just to make a point, oh my god, he's the next young thing after the other next young thing that we just had last time. So exciting! Anyway, these guys are going to be at 6, figure out which side you want him to be on. Again, there's a logic for either one. But Takayumi will get a little bit of an overpromotion to Magashir 7 East, and now we've got three slots for three guys. Ooh, that works out very nicely. There has been a noticeable tendency that if they're going to bump guys down with a 7 and 8 record, they're going to bump them down the full rank. The half ranks only seem to happen recently if there's really no other logical choice. So if we put Koto Shoho ahead because he had the winning record, Tamawashi probably ends up at 8 West, which, which puts Takano Sho at Magashira 8 East. Again, this is a mix of record versus rank. It doesn't go in a precise order. But this one seems like less of a throw up your hands and emoji shrug like uh, Gonayama, Hiro Umi, and Takayasu. That one was three guys with winning records and you could put them any way you want. Tamawashi, if they're not going to leave him at 7 West, and I really don't see why they would, he's probably going to 8 West. And then you just got to coin flip Koto Shoho and Takano Sho. But I'm thinking Koto Shoho goes ahead for right now. And now we get guys who need to get a little bit under promoted or over demoted. Nishikigi might actually get saved from that fate anyway. As a Komusubi, they will probably be a little kind to him. They might put him at 9 East and let Shonen Umi and Shodai both get bumped back a little bit. If that's the case, Shodai has to go to 9 West because that's the only way he gets any kind of a promotion at all. And then Shonen Umi goes to 10 East. He gets plus 2 on 9 and 6. That's basically fine. Now Mitoryu doesn't really count here. He's coming up from Jirio, so he's going to get bumped back quite a bit. Then from here, Sada no Umi, we can bump him to 11 East and Kinbozan to 10 West. There's really no other way to play this other than over demoting Nishikigi coming down from Komusubi. And as much as they've shown a willingness to over demote guys who were at a high rank, they still haven't done it to a guy who was in the Sanyaku yet. So I don't think that's likely to happen until we see a willingness for them to do it. What's more likely to change here if this is wrong is that Shodai and Nishikigi are going to shift so that Shodai gets his full rank and Nishikigi eats the full meal. This is entirely plausible, but I think Shonen Umi at 12 East is maybe not quite locked in. They could leave Kinbozan ahead of him so that he doesn't get over demoted, but I doubt that's going to happen. Shonen Umi probably at 10 East, Kinbozan and Sadanumi after him, Shodai and Nishikigi at, in whatever order you think is correct at Magashira 9. 
Hokuto Fuji and Ichi Yamamoto. Like I said, if a guy is going to drop for, with a 7 and 8 record, they've been tending to do it for a full rank, which would put Hokuto Fuji at 11 West ahead of Ichi. No one standing in front of Nishiki Fuji, he can get bumped up to 12 West. Churino Umi cannot go above 13 West, so he might end up there. But you've got Mitoryu, who's way ahead of all the Jirio promo tees. He should end up at 13 East. Now, if Chorna Umi, let's bump him back again, do you put him behind Oshoma? Mmm, maybe? That seems kind of unlikely. That seems like they're probably going to leave him at 13 West, but maybe not. There just isn't anyone else from my Gashira who can push him down further. So 13 West, no demotion does seem plausible. The only other thing they could really do is put Oshoma in front of him. This is a thing they could do. Again, they have not been treating the guys with losing records kindly in the last year or so, not the way they used to. This is more plausible than it used to be. I'm going to leave Churna Umi at 13 West, just because that still feels a little bit weird to me, but it is by no means a given. This is pretty close to 50-50. Speaking of 7 and 8 guys down near the bottom, Rogel was 7 and 8, so he can't go above 15 West, but he probably will stay there. Ryudin mathematically is ahead of everyone coming up from Jurio, so he probably just takes a rank and a half decrease, goes to 14 West, and then we can line up Toki Hayate ahead of Roga, and which order do these guys go in? Tsurugisho isn't going to get demoted, okay that's cool, but in what order do we line up these last three guys? I'm thinking Tsurugisho ends up at 16 East and Tomokaze ends up ahead of Takara Fuji. Tomokaze gets ahead of Takara Fuji on the basis of record, they were both in the Jurio Joy, so to speak, and neither one was able to push past Tsurugisho by the math, so probably they just let Tsurugisho sit at 16 East, he's fought hard, he was injured. Some decisions recently have pointed towards that they're taking who the guy is into account a little tiny bit, and Tsurugisho has been battling so hard that maybe they give him a little bit of a benefit of the doubt there. I don't know, this is kind of a guess. I am pretty sure you end up with Tomokaze and Takara Fuji in this order relative to each other. If you think Tsurugisho is going to end up behind them at 17 East, there's a logic to it. This is what I think we're going to see though. So that's Makuji, let's take a look at Jirio. The top of this division is going to be the guys coming down from Makuchi. We've got Daimami and Miyogiryu, they slot in very cleanly at Jirio 1 East and West. Cool. Who shows on 2 East, Dai Shoho 2 West. Endo probably gets bumped ahead of Chiyoshoma. Do they bump him ahead of either of the Jirio guys who got promoted ahead of him mathematically? Uh, they could. But with a two rank difference, I don't think it's going to happen. I think Jurio uh, 3 East is fine. He's looked so bad the last few tournaments. Just give him a chance to show that he's got anything left in the tank. If he does, he should be able to get 8-9 wins, start pushing back towards the top division. If he can't, he's just going to keep fading and you don't need to do him any favors. Toha Kuryu, Kagiyaki, and Asa Koryu. These again could go in any order. If we figure they're going to leave a 7 and 8 dropped one rank, well, Kagiyaki ends up at 5 East, and then Asakoryu and Tohakuryu can end up in either spot at Jirio 4. Which one's going to go ahead? I have no idea. This is a coin flip. What's not a coin flip is there's really no one except Shirokuma to go to 5 East. The big polar bear had his first losing record, but he was injured, so let's not hold that against him too much. And in fact, the rankings shouldn't hold it against him at all. He should stay in place, there's no one to push him down, 5 West again. Shishi and Wakataka Kage. Watching Shishi beat Wakataka Kage was as, as weird as this Bajo has been for both Waka and Hakuoho, that was still kind of bananas. I, I don't, I'm not going to talk about that. Both of them are going to get over promoted. I don't know, I'm probably biased because of the match I just saw, but I'm thinking Shishi ahead. Why? I don't know. A coin flip. Another coin flip. There's a lot of these this time. Hidden Umi. Hey, that fits in very nicely. There's no gaps. He just goes back to 7 East. Cool. Congratulations on your 7 and 8 record. Kitano Waka. Jurio 7 West. Should they bump him ahead of Hidden Umi so that Hidden Umi gets some kind of a demotion? They might. I don't think this is as much of a coin flip. I think they're probably going to put Kitano Waka below him because there's no reason not to. The other alternative I could see is putting Hidden Omi here, 
But then Kitanawaka pushes down these guys getting promoted since he's coming down from Makauchi. So then you have Wakataka Kage, he gets his normal three ranks. Shishi gets a nice little bump of two ranks. Hey, good for him. This could happen as well. I'm gonna leave it like this. Just bear in mind, Hidden Umi probably sticks at Jurio 7 East, and then it's just what they want to do with Kitana Waka relative to Shishi and Wakataka Kage. Shimizu Umi, Jurio 8 East. He didn't win a single match. There's not really any reason to put him lower than this. There's no reason. I mean, Shiden can only go to 10 East. There's no one else to fill that gap. Thomas Shoho, he was Jurio 9 West with a 6 and 9 record. They're not going to put him at 9 West with 6 and 9. Probably minimum Jurio 10 West. If they're feeling spicy, maybe they switch him with Shiden. But I don't see any reason for them to do that. Leave Shiden in place. Give Thomas Shoho his one ranked emotion. It's fine. Aoyama, 7 and 8. He's going to stay at 11 West. Akuoho. Man, I didn't think I would ever say this, but going from 13 West to 8 West, he just doesn't deserve it. But he's going to get it. There's no one else to fill that gap. Sushi Minata, 12 West, he's going to stay there with his 7 and 8 record because there's gaps to fill. Haku Yozan, is he going to be the one to get saved in a huge, crazy, unbelievable way? It kind of looks like it. I moved those other guys who were lower down first to kind of show the gaps that exist that cannot be filled by anybody else. The guys coming up from uh, from Makushita can't go that, they're not gonna be placed that high. Is Chiyo Sakai gonna go from 14 to nine with an eight and seven record? Well, if we put Hakuyo's on at nine East and only give him a three ranked emotion on four and 11, well, who else are we gonna put there? Shimano Umi cannot go above nine East and obviously he's not gonna go there. It very much looks like Chiyo Sakai is going to end up at 9 West, a 5 rank jump with an 8 and 7 record, just like Hakuoho. That last win he got on day 15 meant everything to him. He's probably going to get two more tournaments worth of salary, even if he doesn't do that well, just because of one win. It's crazy. Shimano Umi gets the Shimano Umi treatment, and there are jokes about this. Anytime he does poorly, he just doesn't seem to get dropped very far. Once again, where are you going to put him? You can't really do much to push him lower. You could put Oshoumi ahead of him, but if you do that, then Oshoumi is getting no, no decrease on 6 and 9, which isn't going to happen. He's got to go down to at least Jurio 12 East. And look, we only have 26 out of 28 guys in Jirio right now. So Chiyotosuke, he very, very kindly put the Makushita ranks there so we could line this up a little bit more cleanly. Right now, we've got Onokatsu and Chiyomaru. They should end up at Jirio 13. Okay. And then who ends up with the last two spots? We've got Sukahara and Kazakeno. Well, Kazakeno was in the top 15 ranks and won the Yusho, so he should be promoted. That should be a gimme. Now, Sukahara and Aqua. Because Sukahara didn't quote unquote earn his way into Jurio yet, mathematically, the Makushita promotions are a little weird, so that might not be the right way to look at it. You could make an argument that Aqua should just drop a rank and a half and Sukahara goes to Ma uh, Makushita 1 East. However, they fought on the last day, and Sukahara won. When they do those fights, they call them exchange bouts for a reason. Sukahara won, Sukahara is going to take the spot. Otherwise, why did you have those two fight each other? There was no point. We're going to have Sukahara go to Jurio 14 West. Aqua probably goes to Makushita 1 East with a good chance to come back next time. And then we've got Kaio, Koto, Tebakari, Nabatame, and a bunch of other guys who I didn't bother listing who are going to push for their salary in July. And that'll do it for the instant Banzuke for Natsu, May 2024. There's a lot of coin flip stuff. There's a lot of they could do it this way. They could do it that way. Either way makes sense. So there's a decent amount to talk about. Who do you think is going to end up where? Who do you think is going to end up at Two, Magashira 2 and 3 East between Gonoyama, Hiro to Umi, and Takiyasu. What do you think is going to happen with Shodai, Nishikigi, and Shonen Umi? Anything else here? Tell me what you think in the comments. Tier list recap going to be soon. I am also doing research on the injuries Hakuoho and Wakataka Kage had and comebacks from those type of injuries because I think most of us were really surprised to see them struggle to the extent that they did. But Hakuoho is only like six months out from his surgery, maybe a little bit less than that. 
Wakataka Kage, he's a year out, but it was an ACL tear. It's worth looking at how athletes, especially elite athletes, return from those type of injuries and what we should reasonably expect from them in the near future and for their careers going forward. So hopefully I'll have that video out soon. The Yeats this time are gonna be focused on Takeru Fuji. I think I have just the right song for him. So I'm gonna get to work. You have a great day. I hope you had fun watching this Basho. I'll see you soon.